So PSG end up beating Man City with a Lionel Messi wonder goal. Right, so the Champions League is back. PSG versus Man City, the two oil clubs. But it was a big game because Messi faces Pep Guardiola again. Two giants in the footballing world. One person who some bulls consider to be the best manager ever in football history or the best manager in the world. The other, undoubtedly, the greatest of all time as a football player. And it was... A slow burner, I'd say. You had Man City, who overall, over the long period of the game, were the dominant side. But PSG, they had a master plan to just defend, stay compact. Marquinhos played very well. Donnarumma making a lot of saves. And Verratti absolutely running the midfield, putting tackles in left, right and centre. And overall, it was a very kind of defensive game for PSG. Hit them on the break, hit them on the counter with Messi, Mbappe, Neymar. And it worked. City had all the possession, the false nine, not having a striker. Affected them, I think. I think Grealish doesn't have that attacking mind to like get in the box. I know it works with Torres and Foden's done it a few times, but I just don't think he's made for that false nine position. Overall, though, they dominated the play. De Bruyne had some great chances, created quite a lot of chances, just couldn't take them. Donnarumma made a lot of saves, and there was periods where they should have scored. Obviously, Bernardo Silva, Timo Bernardo Silva, what is he doing there? Because he hit the bar from a header. Then he's just gone. It's an open goal. Ooh, straight the ball. Boink. Bruyne could have had a red as well, arguably, because there's been challenges like that. You saw it with Wamba Saka a while ago, where he got sent off for it. Only got a yellow. Bit of a dodgy referee, maybe, but I don't know. I think it could have been a red. But Idrissa Garnagay, quick fire goal. Really good goal by PSG. And Idrissa Garnagay, he's been in the goal scoring before. He's done it before. He did it last game in the Champions League, and he's been good. It was a great start for them, but then, as I said, Man City just kept on coming, kept on coming, and PSG were a lot more defensive. But in the end, that didn't matter because they kept their solidarity. Marquinhos was immense. I thought he really helped keep PSG in shape. Hakimi, obviously, amazing attackingly. And Donnarumma making so many saves. Baratti as well. Imperative. Absolutely imperative for them keeping that clean sheet. And in the end, it was the GOAT. Mercy. I don't even think he did his iconic celebration, did he? Because he was that gas. Gets it on the halfway line. One of his amazing little runs. The players are one, two, then Bappe and bang. Straight in the top right corner against Pep Guardiola. Unbelievable stuff. Incredible goal. What a player. I mean, to be fair, he played a few good passes and weren't his best of games. But I think he's just been struggling to cope with the change of club. He's never done it before. And obviously, remember last season when he wanted to leave for Barcelona, he did start slow. So he's starting slow with PSG, but he's got that first goal and he was absolutely loving it. Running over to the fans, Neymar and Bappe all celebrating with him. PSG did get what they deserved. Their game plan worked. And even though it might be bit defensively minded when it works you get the credit for it and they, they have the pace to do it on the counter and Messi just finished it off what a goal as well for your first PSG goal incredible he's now scored what is it 27 goals in like 35 games against the top six in Premier League or original top six uh, and he hasn't even played in the Premier it's just unbelievable I guarantee Pep Guardiola be like He's just too good. He's too good. Lionel Messi, number four, number five, number six. Too good, too good. And you've got to rate the work ethic. He even lay down on the wall. Sleepy time. Having a little nap from his rest. Oh, yeah. It was an incredible game. And elsewhere in the Champions League, you had crazy stuff with AC Milan, Atletico Madrid, late comeback. Liverpool absolutely smashing Porto as they usually do away. All around, great night. PSG seem to be gelling a bit more. Obviously, they've had so many signings come through. Hakimi, Donnarumma, all these players who have to kind of gel together get used to playing with each other. And it seems that that is starting to happen now with kind of Champions League pressure. I thought in the first game against Club Brugge, they was really poor, really. Couldn't really get to grips with it. And I know in this game, there was defensive. And maybe hopefully as, as in the future, they like attack more, get more possession, dominate games. Because Messi usually as well for Barcelona later on, he was more of that like number 10, wasn't he? And now PSG are playing out wide. He's still very effective there. And will do incredible there. Like he's linked up with Mbappe, was very good. I thought Neymar should have buried that chance as well. Why did he miss that? But overall, City mudded. They could have got something from that game as well. That's the worst bit. They were just lacking that clinical edge, that clinical striker who knows how to finish. But I think they'll be fine. Obviously, Leisbig in their group did end up losing. So it is a bit more tasty if City lose another one. They could be going home, but you never know. I don't think they will. And PSG do look dangerous. But you have got other teams. Liverpool doing very well in the Champions League. They'll always be up there. Dortmund winning again. A great night for Champions League. The GOAT scores again, and it's just incredible how he's like two years younger than Ronaldo, and he's in his career, he's only scored like, like 10 goals, I think, less than Ronaldo. Unbelievable, but them two are just going at it. Scoring goals for fun. Lionel Messi. Mercy. Not as influential as he usually is, but he was praying a few passes, 
and got his goal in the end. A world-class finish from a world-class player, the greatest ever, PSG. They was absolutely loving it, weren't they? The fans went mental, Messi went mental, and the PSG got the three points. And maybe if they had Harry Kane this season, who's doing crap at Spurs, and he looks like he's kind of having a hangover from the summer of what happened with his transfer, if he was playing for City, they would have definitely scored today, I'll tell you that much. But I think when Ferran Torres plays, he's a little bit more clinical, isn't he, than the Grealish, the Foden, who switched in and out of the false nine. And De Bruyne can create all the chances. Just Grealish can create all the chances, Foden. But in the end, I know they had a lot of shots. They just don't have that one who can really put it in the net and he's a proven goal scorer. So they are going to have, I think, games, as you've saw with the season already against Southampton stuff, where they're going to struggle to find that finishing touch, that finishing edge. But um, they'll still be challenging for the title. It's City and Pep makes it work, doesn't he? In the end, PSG did deserve it. Pochettino, he has had a dodgy start. I mean, if he don't get this team to a final, Champions League final or summer, he, he's a bottle. He's got the Spurs DNA in. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. The Champions!